Hi everyone, welcome back to Wesnell's Tech News and Reviews. Today I will be doing a heart rate test of the Xiaomi Mi Band 6, the all new tracker that was just released on the 2nd of April 2021 versus the infamous Honor Band 6. And we all know this track, it came out in November last year and it basically blew up the fitness tracker market. So anyway, the newbie versus the Honor Band 6. Today, showdown of the heart rate accuracy test and the benchmark will be the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. Without further ado, let's get into the test. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. So before we get into the test details, let's talk about our contenders just for one minute. So let's talk about the Honor Band 6 first. So this bad boy came out last year and it basically changed the way we look at fitness trackers. Previously the fitness trackers were of this shape. So a slim line design, long face, in the middle of a black plastic face we would have a small or a 1.1 inch AMOLED display. And that was it. The Honor Band 6 came along with a bezel to bezel, edge to edge, huge 1.47 inch AMOLED display. So in regards to this tracker, it's got 10 preset sport modes, you can't expand the list, it's got SPO2, it's got your stress monitoring. You can monitor three sleep stages, your deep, your light and REM sleep. You can monitor your stress levels and you can measure your SPO2. Even though it's spot readings, it's still very useful. It's waterproof and there's just connected GPS. So that's a run through of the Honor Band 6. With the Xiaomi Mi Band 6, we've got 30 sport modes, which is wow. It's also connected GPS, there's six auto detected activities. So you can either walk, run, do elliptical workouts, you can actually do the settings, play around with the settings uh, on the watch face and you can set up which sport modes you want to be auto detected, which is very useful. Of course, the Honor Band 6 was famous for offering gold-based sport modes at a very budget price. The Xiaomi Mi Bands never had gold-based activities before the new one, before the Mi Band 6, so now it's got it as well. It's also got stress monitoring, sleep tracking, it's got continuous heart rate tracking, there are a lot of things on there. Of course, there's also cool apps like the World Clock sitting on the Mi Band 6. While the Honor Band 6 does not have a World Clock, it's got a torch function. So you can see that there are slight gaps and overlaps here and there, but in general, it's very similar functionality. So now, let's get into the heart rate test between these two trackers. Let's do it. So before we get into the test results, let me tell you about how I performed the test. So yesterday I went to the gym, I got onto the treadmill and I went for a run, a 2K run and it took me the first 12 minutes as we can see on the Polar H10 ECG chest strap plot. So we can see that the heart rate was increasing as I went along, obviously heart rate was growing and we can see that as soon as I hit the two kilometers or just after 12 minutes, we see the spike sort of falling as I stepped off the treadmill and that makes sense. Then of course I went over to the weight section and as I was doing my sets between them I was doing core exercises such as squats and abs. And I was actually pushing myself and you can see that through the steps or, and the spikes of how my heart rate was actually growing over the next 12 to 13 minutes. So at the 25 minute mark the exercise was stopped. Now that we've got the benchmark results from Polar, let's actually plot the Mi Band 6 and the Honor Band 6 chest rate plots above or over the Polar H10 and see what we come up with. Let's kick off with the Mi Band 6 and then we'll take a look at the Honor Band 6. Let's do it. I think we need to take a look at the Polar results first of all. So we can see that the average heart rate was measured at 147 beats per minute while the max heart rate was registered at 179 beats per minute and that peak actually looks to be on the last parts of the treadmill so just before I got off and started my weights exercises. If we look at the Mi Band 6, we can see that the average heart rate was measured at 146 beats per minute. That's a variance of just one, a single beat per minute over the 25 minutes. 
Now if we look at the MAX, the Mi Band 6 has registered a MAX heart rate of 178 beats per minute. So overall we see that there's just one beat per minute variance between the ECG chest strap from Polar and the optical heart rate sensor on the back of the Mi Band 6. These results are extremely sharp. This is almost unbelievable. Let's take a closer look at the actual tracing. So as we can see, as we start off on the run, the Mi Band 6 optical heart rate sensor picks up the heart rate, well, quite in line or in generally in line with the Polar H10. And it does follow through. So it picks up the so it picks up the trolls, it picks up the peaks, and as we see the decrease, it's also coming down in line. Of course, the staggered or the stepped uh, upward move from when I started the weights and the squats and the ab exercises, there is a bit of inconsistencies, but these are, the tracing is in line with the Polar H10, and hence the tiny variance. This is very impressive. Having such a small variance of one beat per minute for the average and for the max, that means that in percentages, these, these variances are smaller than 0.1 of a percent. This is amazing. Now, let's take a look at what the Honor Band 6 came up with. Now, the Honor Band 6 did not want to be left behind. And we can see that the average heart rate as measured by the Honor Band 6 was 144 beats per minute. That's just a variance or an underestimation of 3 beats per minute. For the max, we had an overestimate by 1 beat per minute. So if Polar H10 showed us 179, Honor Band 6 showed us 180. These results are also awesome. So the variance on the average is just 2%, while the variance on the max is under 0.1%. These results are also very sharp. Let's take a closer look at the tracing though. And if we look at the tracing during the treadmill run, I can say that the tracing is much more close than on the Mi Band 6. We can see that the optical heart rate sensor on the back of the Honor Band 6 is very good and it does register those runs and the gradual increase in heart rate much better than the Mi Band 6. But we do hit problems as soon as we hit the steps and the sharp spikes as we start doing the weights, the squats and the ab activities. This is where I think there was a bit of faltering from the Honor Band 6 optical heart rate sensor. It's not causing a big issue but we can see that the average is off by 3 beats per minute. So let's summarize our results. What I can say is that these two trackers are showing us heart rate accuracy that's unheard of and I can say that we've had to the test at Wesno's premium smartwatches, sport watches, budget sport watches and budget smart watches and I'm yet to remember where two such budget or cheap trackers have performed as good as these two. So if you're out in the market looking for a budget fitness tracker just choose the one you like. Look at their design look at some of their apps and widgets and actually have a look in the next couple of days because we'll be doing a comparison between these two in regards to features and functions. But otherwise, in regards to heart rate accuracy, these two are very impressive. Of course, I will be doing a sleep comparison and test in the next couple of days as well between these two and the Fitbit Inspire 2 as well as the Samsung Galaxy Fit 2. So keep tuned to watch that. In the meantime, Thanks for watching. If you did like this review and test, then please drop us a like. And if you want to see more of the same, then you know what to do. Please hit the red subscribe button below the video. And I'll see you in the next one.